Hi, my name is John Rattery. Today I'm going to teach you a trick called the staple gun. Whether it's a poster of Avril Lavigne, Justin Bieber, Cher, or an Urban Outfitters poster of Keegan Sauter. Some people might use sellotape, some people might use duct tape, some people might use wallpaper paste. I prefer the staple gun. The staple gun was probably invented in the late 80s on a mini ramp in Orange County by Steve Size, Chet Thomas, one of these types of people. And by types of people, I mean skateboarders that lived in the Orange County in the late 80s. When you're doing the staple gun, you're going to approach the coping either forwards or backwards. You're going to let either the front or the back wheels pop up over the coping. Allow the board to... <laughs> cramp in this left buttock, whatever this muscle is here. The board's going to go up onto the platform like this and you're in some sort of weird, dumb looking splits position. All you're gonna do is drag the whole thing back into the transition and jump on, all reckless. There are all types of variations of the staple gun. It's a very versatile move. You can do half cap staple gun, front side boneless to staple gun to forwards, fakey big spin to staple gun. I'm going to try and learn uh, an advanced staple gun maneuver, the kickflip staple gun. Never been done by me. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's pretty much it. You might want to watch for your shins learning this one. So I think we just ride up, kickflip the board on the platform, arrive in staple gun position. case of jumping back on that thing all reckless. Really a useful tool for putting up flyers if you've lost a kitten, for example. Sadly, I'd absolutely be pretty devastated if I ever had to do that. But luckily I own a staple gun and I can do a few different versions of the staple gun. Try and learn it, have some fun take it to some new levels.